Have you ever felt fed up on the playground or at home? Maybe your friends wouldn't play the game you wanted to play. Perhaps you had a day when it felt like no one wanted to be your friend. I wonder what you do when you have days like that to make you feel better. I wonder in the next part of the story if Jesus felt a bit like that. It says in the Bible that after they had finished their supper, Jesus went out and his disciples followed him. Jesus knew that soon the soldiers would come to arrest him and he would be sentenced to death. He went to a garden called Gethsemane with his friends and asked them to keep watch for him while he prayed to God to help him. But his friends were tired and they fell asleep. In the darkness of night, Jesus felt very alone. Even so, he prayed and trusted himself to God's care. Christians remember this difficult time for Jesus on the Thursday before Easter. It's called Maundy Thursday. Different things are done to remind Christians how alone Jesus must have felt. In some churches, the special decorative cloth on the altar is taken away and a priest will wear simple clothes and offer to wash the feet of the congregation. Some Christians leave church in silence. In this church, we remember the whole evening's events and think about the different things Jesus told his disciples. All Christians treasure the Bible and will often read parts of the Bible when they are feeling sad or alone. There are some verses around our garden today that you might find really supportive. Have a look and see if you can find any. When Jesus felt completely alone in the garden and his friends had fallen asleep, he continued to pray. If you would like to, choose a pebble and draw a symbol of hope on the pebble, maybe a smiley face or a rainbow or a sunshine, whatever might give you hope. If you wish, you can take the pebble and keep it in your coat pocket so you can hold it next time you feel sad. You could think of it as a prayer pebble. Or you may prefer to leave it in the garden as a symbol of hope in the darkness. 